we're filming? There's no one here. Um, this is a bit strange. I'm used to all of the documentary people being around. Um, so the guys have insisted that we all do video isolation diaries. Um, while everyone's stuck inside. I think it's to keep morale up, keep us all busy. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be doing here. Um, I'm in my nan's house, I'm isolating in my nan's, as you can probably tell. And I thought this would be a really good time to get on the forums, get talking about a few bands that I'm into, but um, they've all gone silent. And a few of them have shut down, which is a bit annoying. But apparently they were mostly moderated by people in an over 60s computer literacy course, which is now considered an irresponsible gathering. So they've had to shut that down. Um, I mean, my goal is just to be as productive as possible. I mean, I've got my base here. I'm going to practice that for like an hour, two hours, you know, just feel the vibe. Uh, who knows? Maybe later I'll teach myself French, pick up a new skill. Right. Uh, so this is a baseline that we were going to try out in Porky Pickup. Uh, well, obviously, stuck inside, not really had time to go to Flynn's and try it out, so um, you're hearing it here first. One, two, three, four. I'm just here, I'm at home, I'm chilling, I'm doing my bit, and um, yeah, I do want to say respect to all our nurses. They're the real heroes here. And at the end of all this, I'm not afraid to say it, I think they should swap the pay of footballers with nurses. It's pretty simple. Hey everyone, so Ollie Thorne coming at you here from uh, self-isolation. Um, yeah, I think there was a general consensus that it was a good thing if we sort of did some vlogs just so you guys uh, know what we're up to, just so that we can sort of keep you going, keep you inspired while uh, being cooped up inside. Yeah, so I thought it was a great opportunity to maybe show you around my home studio, uh, do a bit of a sort of look around, you know, get to know me a little bit, you know what it is, so um, let's do this. Yeah, so I thought I'd start off by showing you the pride and joy guitar collection right here. So here we have my acoustic guitar. It's one I do most of my writing with. You know, you can see it. It's uh, I think you guys have seen it before, but it's you know it's pretty dope. It uh, sounds pretty damn good if you ask me. It's where a lot of the magic sort of gets created. Uh, we then have my Les Paul. Uh, this is the sort of go-to one. This is like my gigging guitar. You guys have seen it before, you know how it is. Uh, and then we've got the new addition to the family, which is my Dan Electro. Uh, this is actually a gift. Um, I think it's pretty punk rock. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty punk rock guitar. It's got some stickers on there. This is second hand. I think this is from the 70s. Something like that. It sounds pretty, uh, it sounds pretty good. Um, you know, we've got that cleaner sound, a bit more traditional. Um, yeah, sounds dope. Uh, let's move on, shall we? Doesn't really sound as good uh, about all the other stuff, you know. So I've been trying to carry on as normal, do all my normal stuff, you know, keeping up with my fans. One thing I can't do though properly is my tennis. Uh, left all my rackets at the club before I got stuck here. Um, but I do with this. So I'm thinking it's pretty similar. So I'm gonna do some tennis training because you know, keeping up your form is pretty important. This could be a good opportunity though, if anyone sees this and you're a fan of 
uh, Sick Pigs, Tokyo Tigers, Jerome and Gerard, Stalagmites and Stalag Crystals. Get in touch and let me know. Uh, my email address is uh, bigben420 at aol.com. Flynn set it up for me and he thought it was really, really funny. I don't think I get it personally. Maybe you guys will. Maybe there's 419 other Big Bens. Who knows? Um, yeah, get in touch. Let me know. So down here we've got my amp. Yeah, you can see this is a this is my home amp. We've got the amp uh, that we use at Flynn's. Um, but yeah, I like to keep that there because it's uh, no point trugging it along. And uh, being obviously in isolation, there's not much I can do. But we've got uh, my home amp. This is probably my favourite one. To be fair, it sounds uh, pretty magical. Like I say, there's a, there's a lot of magic. A lot of magic. You know, right here you can see my uh, electric drum kit. I try and, you know, keep up to stuff. You know, sometimes it's nice to give Ben a hand when he's uh, when he's not quite getting the idea. Not when he's, you know, he's uh, he's not quite getting it. You know, but sometimes it's good to just give him a helping hand. Got a bit of a tear there. You can see I really um, I really know what I'm doing when it comes to uh, playing drums. So yeah, it gets a bit of a thrashing at times, but. Yeah, sometimes that's just to uh, give an extra layer. And, you know, I write my own stuff, so sometimes you need to uh, do what's best. And, you know, coming around here, we've got um, the keyboard again. Make some, uh, a lot of magic on this. And, um, like I say, just just a lot, a lot of magic. There's a lot of magic going on here. You can see um, it's got all uh, the keys on it. I mean, I didn't put those stickers there. They came with it, and uh, I don't really need the uh, the instruction there but you know I didn't like I say it's a bit punk rock seeing those uh, sort of stickers on the guitar so I thought you know keep them on the keyboard as well because uh, why why mess with perfection but uh, like I say I don't I don't need them I I know all the keys off by heart so yeah now I know I said I was gonna learn French um, but I figured Italian French either way I could put it to good use I'm sure. So, got my trusty dictionary. Let's see what uh, Michael Thomas has to offer. First, a few words about the Italian language to show you that you're going to get acquainted and thoroughly acquainted with the language that is not entirely foreign, alien to English, but that there's a broad common basis of familiarity between both English it's so Robin's spending a lot of time chilling in with my boys, Toby and Todd. You know, they've, they've been my homies, you know. Can't be my normal boys, Toby and Todd always got my back. You know, sometimes I just find myself sat here for like hours, just like watching them. Dope. You know, we've also got here the uh, mini vocal booth. Uh, you know, the microphone is uh, currently resting. I was doing some pretty mad vocals on it before, and I think, you know, it, it, no expert will tell you this, but sort of from experience, once you give it a pretty good thrashing, you need to let um, even microphones need to rest at times, so I think it's best to just uh, take it off and let it do its thing every now and again. So. Yeah, that's my mini vocal booth, you know, got a pop shield here because, you know, some of my vowels can be pretty explosive. Right guys, so that's uh, me done for today. You know, don't know how long we're going to be in isolation, but we'll try and keep this content coming out to you as much as possible because we know you guys really want it, we know you need it. Um, I'll try and bring that content to you as often as I can. Uh, this was a really cool video. I know it must have been pretty interesting for you guys, so let me know if you want to see more. Um, I'll post as much as I can. Um, but in the meantime, stay safe. Uh, keep together, but like not too together. Make sure you're like sort of, you know, fairly far away. But uh, yeah, just keep on going. Much love. Ollie Thorne out. I'm gonna turn this off. Them. What's happening? Does that do anything? When the Italian would be possibly, 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 because the letter I is always pronounced E.
possibile. And it is his eh. Eh, spelled E with an accent. So it is possible would be a possibile. A possibile, yes. A possibile.